What's going on everybody? Welcome to my office. Uh, back in 2020 when we decided to buy a new house, uh, we moved in in 2021. One of the biggest things I wanted was to make sure I had an office studio. I saw where everything was going from a media standpoint and I had just retired and I knew I wanted to get into the media side of sports, especially baseball. And I said, you know what? I need to develop a room in which I can do anything from TV if they ask me to do something from home. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted to feel like everything that I've accomplished, everything that I've kind of amassed throughout the course of my career, throughout the course of my life, I wanted it to be in here to make me feel comfortable as well. So uh, one of the first things that I want to start with is my St. Louis Cardinals jersey. Uh, as a player, as somebody that grew up playing baseball since I was five, six years old, all you want to do is make the make it to the major leagues. And uh, my first major league jersey is actually here on this wall. Um, so I'll take you over there. And it has a lot of special significance to me too, because this is not only my first jersey, this is a jersey in which uh, Oscar Tavares, one of my teammates that I came up in the minor leagues with, um, he's remembered on this jersey. Uh, biggest reason, obviously, he, he passed away uh, in the Dominican. I was actually playing in the Dominican when he passed away, um, taken at such a young age in a car accident. But it, it, this jersey is so special to me because I'll always remember the times that we had together. I'll always remember Oscar's smile um, and, and our opportunity to get to play together through AA, AAA, the big leagues. Um, and, and even seeing each other in Dominican. So it was an extremely special relationship I have with them. But at the same time, obviously, this represents my Major League debut. It represents the first day I got to the big leagues. Um, it represents everything that I worked hard for uh, uh, throughout the course of my life in this game of baseball. So this is my first jersey uh, for my Major League debut. Now let's move on over to the Miami Marlins. Uh, this is the jersey in which I, I played with them in 2016. Uh, this one also has a special meaning to it as well. These jerseys aren't just put up here for any reason. Uh, number 16, Jose Fernandez. Uh, I was on the team when he passed away that year in a boating accident. Uh, me and Jose had been getting extremely close throughout the course of my time when I got called up to the big leagues there in Miami. Uh, but it just means a lot to me because both Oscar Tavares and Jose Fernandez were just such passionate people, not just great baseball players, but passionate people. And it reminds me to live every day to the fullest. You don't know how much time you have, uh, especially in sports. We have a small window no matter what. So live each day to the fullest, enjoy your time, um, and really soak in the moment. This is the third jersey that I have in my office. I only have three jerseys in here. This is another significant and very meaningful jersey to me. This is my Korean uniform from the NC Dinos. I played over in Korea, if you don't know, for two years, 2017 and 2018. Had an amazing time over there. Uh, me and my wife got married and immediately went to Korea, basically, uh, and enjoyed that time together. And another thing too, my son was born, uh, my, first, uh, my first son Zeke was born in Korea the second year that we were there in 2018. Uh, I was number 35, this says Skudagsu in, in uh, Korean, that's how they say it, Skudagsu. And um, yeah, it has a lot of meaning to me, somewhere where we felt very comfortable. A second home to us is Korea, Chungwon specifically, and still keep in touch with a lot of the players that I had as teammates over there in Korea, as well as coaches. So that time was extremely special for me. I talked to you guys about my time with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, as I sit at my desk, I get an opportunity to look this way and always kind of think about my time as a player, but not just as a major league player, as a minor league player as well. That's where I spent most of my time, seven years grinding in the minor leagues before I even got to the big leagues. Uh, this is a, an example of that. This is a AAA Memphis jersey. Um, it's kind of mem rem remembrance this is kind of a remembrance of me kind of just sitting back and being in the moment, watching what's going on on the field. Um, and then probably that same year is another a picture of me in the major leagues. One of my favorite teammates, Jason Hayward. Um, congratulations, Jay. Hey, he's just now got signed with the Dodgers as well. 
an opportunity for me that I just enjoyed so much and tried to relish every single moment in. And also, I wanted this picture because it reminded me that teammates and relationships are the most important thing when you talk about sports. Uh, when we leave the, the game or when we retire, the one thing that we remember is the relationships with the guys. We can almost forget about, you know, statistics and, and you know, some of the low lights or even some of the highlights, but what always sticks with you is the relationships with the teammates. So that's why I have that picture there. I have two other pictures here with the Marlins. Um, this is kind of us saying, hello to Jose Fernandez after he had passed away. This was the game right after he had passed away the next day. Um, you see the number 16 on the mound. We're all kind of tipping our, tipping our uh, beer or our drink to him. And this is kind of something similar. This was, uh, you know, right before the game, I believe we all went out there and, and kind of just gave our, our moment of silence for Jose Fernandez. So another special moment, but these pictures just represent some of the best times that I had playing in, in, in baseball. I mentioned my time over in Korea playing baseball for a couple of years with the NC Dinos and have a couple of things that kind of stick out to me over here. This is actually um, a plaque and, and a jersey that was not my time. This was 2020. This was when the NC Dinos won their first championship. Um, I had actually retired. I was done playing and they sent me a jersey in this plaque just to say hey you're a part of this you're a part of this championship um, you're a part of this organization uh, i don't know how many other americans or foreign players that played over there received this but i know that i was very special for them to either even consider handing one of those over to me so I, when i opened the package i was just elated and, and so happy to feel like i was a part of a championship that they were able to accomplish Another thing I have here that's pretty cool is I went to an exhibition um, uh, about Louis Vuitton in Seoul, Korea, and had to bring something back, something that kind of always made me think about Korea. Uh, obviously, love Louis Vuitton and really had to get an understanding of what it stood for um, because when you buy luxury goods, it's important to understand what they stand for and what they mean. So I got to learn a lot of it, uh, a lot of that. But also, we have Cacao Friends, which over there they don't really use iMessage; they use Cacao. That's their form of like WhatsApp or something that they can use for messaging. And these are uh, like the emojis here that they use the Cacao Friends. So I thought it was pretty cool that they made this. So I had to bring this poster back home. This is something that also I have here in my office that really. Uh, I always get to look at right define success um, I kept thinking about what I would want to put up in my office that had some meaning that could help remind me uh, to stay on the right track and I think the one thing for me is just continuing to ask myself how do I define success it's not how somebody else does it but it's how I define it um, I define success by finding a way to get better every single day at whatever you're trying to accomplish um, goals can be lofty at times but how you get to those goals Getting, getting better every single day, doing something incrementally that allows you to progress um, every day. So I try to keep that in mind right there. So some of the stuff that I have on my shelf here, uh, obviously at the top, I uh, have some pretty cool pictures from my time with the Dinos, a big face Xavier up there. Um, there's a picture of me and Jessica uh, that they drew. And then I uh, got a pretty cool uh, graphic of me in multiple uniforms and, and all the uniforms that I played professionally. So this box represents something really cool to me. MLB sent this to me in 2021. Um, that's the, the first year I did MLB's first player to player podcast called The Bigs. Um, something I was really excited about, something that was extremely a, a great creative process that I got to go through. But it also represents like the beginning of my time in media and really being able to use my voice, use my platform uh, for something so much bigger. So I'm glad that this is, is here. We have a couple of X's as well. Um, and then we kind of get to this shelf here. This kind of represents like the creativeness in me. And, and, and I kind of get to see the progression of which I've kind of been able to move uh, as far as camera wise. It's always a progression as far as what you're trying to create. And it, it always reminds me that, hey, use your creativity. Go, go out there and, and make the content that you want to see. So that's something that I have, even a, a microphone. This is the first microphone I started with when I started my podcast on Deck With X back in 2020. So that was something that, uh, that was pretty cool too. 
All right, this row here, we have a lot of baseballs and some books, some of my favorite books. Um, the baseballs have a lot of meaning. Obviously, they're, they're signed by some really cool guys, some Hall of Famers, but I, I guess one of the coolest balls that I have here is Ichiro. He signed this when we were teammates in 2016. Um, extremely special guy. Got to see the way he went about his work. Got to see the way he really you know, finished out his career. He was on the last leg of his career. And it was really cool to see him still go at it like he was a rookie. So this one is extremely special. Need a case for this one um, as well. Shout out to uh, shout out to Dugout Mugs who made me a couple of these uh, mugs here. This one is from the podcast, The Bigs. And this one here was made by Dugout Mugs, but this wasn't sent directly to me. Um, this one has a lot of meaning because I represented the Cardinals in the 2021 uh, first year player draft. And this was on uh, every table that uh, was represented there by every single team. So this is something I got to keep. That was, uh, that was pretty cool as well. And then this is this year's all-star game. We took Xander. We tried to do a trip, you know, with uh, one kid just separately. And Xander got to go to the all-star game this year. Zeke went to last year's World Series. But this was a special time for us to just to get to spend our time with the middle child, Xander. And this row here, um, well, I talked about some of my books here, but these are like the go-to books here. Obviously, the Bible. Um, this actually doesn't even sit here most of the time. It's usually on my desk. Um, you don't need talent to succeed, but everything else counts. Uh, my father-in-law wrote this book, Hector Hernandez. Um, so if you get a chance, check that book out. Um, the Bible from 30,000 feet. And then the ultimate sneaker book. That's, hey, that's the, the good one right there. The ultimate sneaker book takes you back to some of the first sneakers um, that really meant something to people and, and kind of the development of those things and all the way to, to today. So it's a pretty cool book. Um, and then kind of finally on this last shelf here is just some gloves that I had. Um, this is kind of one of the last gloves that I had that I still I still use it uh, when I go out there with some of the kids, the youth, um, Rawlings Gold Glove here, but check out these gloves. These are old school gloves um, that I got from a guy named Mike Adami um, before he actually passed away. A close family friend of ours, shout out to Matt Adami, um, close childhood friend, but uh, actually really cool Don Larson glove that they used back in the day. Um, doesn't even have the leather strings in it anymore. And then um, this is Spalding, by the way, Spalding. We don't even see Spalding gloves anymore. And then this one is a Wilson glove. Um, just, just awesome to see the old school gloves that they used to, to use. Um, really cool. And it says Ted Williams here on the side. And this is where I kind of just get everything done here at the desk, uh, whether I'm, you know, working on the radio, MLB Network Radio, whether I'm actually on off base from MLB Network, um, I can do a lot from my home. And I love the fact that I can do it from the desk, um, whether it be TV, whether it be radio, whether it be creating my own content, that's where most of this stuff gets done. Um, one of the best investments I've ever had back in 2020, this microphone. Um, never would I think that this microphone would take me so far with so many different opportunities. So I'm extremely blessed for that. And uh, just happy that I have the opportunity to do a lot of these things after playing the game of baseball, because I still have that same perspective as a player, but also I still understand how much content is important in everything that we do in life. Um, and, and even to go a little bit deeper, like, the last thing that we'll leave on this earth past past the time that we'll be here is the content that we leave behind. So um, I, I always think about what am I what messaging am I leaving behind for even my own kids, because that may be the one thing that they remember is what I have left on social media one day. So it's been amazing to get to do these different opportunities and create the things that I love to create. And I would advise anybody else and encourage anybody else to do the same. So. Thanks for coming into my office. You guys have checked out everything. Uh, a lot of big things coming here real soon and uh, appreciate you guys' time. See you later.